Hi everyone, this is going to be a quick overview of really everything Workflow Manager. I'm going to explain a bit about its purpose and problems that it solves, some of the overall technology and use cases. So who are we? Well, we're Esri's solution for scalable enterprise workflow management systems. We help organizations become more productive by automating and simplifying many aspects of performing and managing repeatable work. So Workflow Manager is a great fit for improving the performance and dependability of repeatable processes. It's easy to do any process once, but trying to scale it to hundreds of times or thousands of times while still maintaining consistency, quality, and productivity is very challenging. It's a coordination, management, and processing nightmare. Bottlenecks get magnified. The process can often slow down. Mistakes happen. Quality drops. And this is where Workflow Manager comes in to streamline production processes and act as the orchestration factory to really automate as much as possible. So we assist in all sorts of applications from things like data submission to national mapping, boundary adjustments, and many more that you see on your screen. We deliver many benefits from improved data quality to reducing overall production costs improving knowledge transfer between staff and what really makes us special and different is our ability to use location as part of the work so whether that's in reporting whether that's using it as say a geoprocessing boundary our ultimate vision here at workflow manager is to allow you to create your own seamless end-to-end -end workflows across arcgis for completing your work so last year we released our new service driven deployment to support this vision, focused on new use cases, really tighter integration with enterprise and some areas of differentiation with our previous product workflow manager classic so that we could mature the technology gradually and answer a lot of your requirements and use cases. What is it? Well, it's a new capability server with instances of workflow manager available as workflow items. There's a new web app with web pages focused on specific tasks like performing and monitoring or administrating that work. There's a new ArcGIS Pro extension for those performing editing and analysis in Pro, while also still maintaining some of the extensibility opportunities for those of you who want to build your own apps or widgets. Users of the system are licensed not via the server itself, but instead via their own user type extension licenses, just like utilities or parcel mapping. The new system is focused on things like performance, ease of use, deployability, platform integration, and a lot of new capabilities, some of which I'll show you today. Let's start off by showing one type of use case, so a traditional submission and approval workflow on the web. These are really good examples of a typical repeatable process that contains four stages of submission, review, completion, and delivery. And there are a lot of examples of this use case in real life, like boundary and address changes, permitting, data submission, and request. So we're gonna do a quick permit submission and show how Workflow Manager can input the submission details and then guide the submitter with GIS based on the submission's proximity to a water source. We'll be seeing the demo through the eyes of my coworker, Arthi, submitting a permit into the Workflow Manager web app. So let's get started. We start off in ArcGIS Enterprise and access the Workflow Manager app from the app launcher. And as a submitter, we land on the work page where we can find, filter, perform, or create work. We'll create a new permit request and fill in some of our submission information using out-of-the-box capabilities where users are provided prompts and inputs and help to complete their steps. Alternately, form-based information can also be captured through Survey123, either as a step in the workflow as seen here or externally through a mobile device. The new integration with Survey123 opens up opportunities for inputs like signatures, as well as complex inputs and data validation. As information is gathered through our system or Survey123, it is all available and associated to the Workflow Manager job. This information can then be used in later steps of the workflow, like geoprocessing or emails, 
question steps, guiding decisions, or for outside reporting and historical tracking. Returning to our submission, we can now define the submission's location in a map using the drawing tools and we'll intentionally put it in a wet zone so that it is flagged for future follow-up. Using the attachment step, we can also add supporting documentation either by linking to another system or adding the documents directly. Now that we've collected the submission's information, the location can be analyzed using a geoprocessing step against our in-house resources to see if the submission was near water. As expected, we're within 50 feet of the wetland, so we'll need to input some additional contextual information. Once complete, we can then answer a question to confirm we're ready to submit. And as part of submission, we will get an email automatically from Workflow Manager, which contains information that has been seamlessly extracted from the job using Arcade expressions. So we saw gathering information from a submitter, performing some GP analysis to guide them based on the submission's location and survey one, two, three integration as well. This workflow could then carry on to an automated or manual review of that submission and ultimately to final completion of the permit. All right, let's pivot to another use case and talk a little bit about data editing workflows for the utility network, parcel fabric or pipeline referencing. These workflows may have editing tasks in pro on the web or mobile. And we're going to look at an example of a newly installed fire hydrant and incorporating those edits in pro and the web. So we're going to go back to the work page as a reviewer of field submissions. We have work that was automatically submitted from the field with survey one, two, three and webhooks. So all the details are pre-populated and ready to review in our web app. We can add some comments based on the review and accept it, then pass it on so that a spatial version can automatically be created for the job to store edits. And then we'll see the submission reassigned to an editor in Pro for further work. Now let's start as that editor in Pro who is updating an organization's data as new changes come in. We access the workflow pane to find our work on the ribbon. The pane has much the same layout as the work page on the web. I can find and start my work. So running the step automatically opens the correct map, takes me to the works location, repoints the layers, and if required would also open up an ArcGIS task to assist me in my work as well. With a lot of that manual prep done, it's pretty easy to complete those edits and we can move on quickly to the next step. I can finish it here complete the remaining steps to provide a comment before the work is passed on to the next assignee. Let's start another job to see how the service-driven architecture updates both Pro and the web in real time. So I can start a step in Pro and immediately see its status change on the web, which is great for keeping everyone current on work status, particularly in distributed environments. Let's switch back to our original work and now over to the web, but we're gonna be the QC personnel who's going to check our edit in a web app. So Workflow Manager can open web apps in an integrated experience. We can populate the URL with job information like the location and version information through web parameters on launch. Users can interact with the app, see properties of the job as well, or collapse the experience to gain more real estate. After completing this web review, the system can also reconcile and post the version. This can be scheduled to occur automatically at a specific time directly in Workflow Manager. In this case, off network hours. And that's a small peek into a simple workflow coming from the field, reviewed on the web, incorporated in Pro and QC'd again on the web. This workflow could also have automated QC. It could also interact with the field more directly with ArcGIS Workforce. For another great example and demo, please check out the telecommunications team network design through construction workflow. You can look it up on YouTube using some of the parameters on the slide. So a lot of the workflows we've seen so far have manual components, but that's not the only type of system we support. More and more organizations are looking for automated systems that can as assist with things like data ingestion and processing. So really more autonomous monitoring of work, more 
automated processing and verification, only leveling up to manual interaction when is required. So these types of workflows are also part of Workflow Manager, and we make some functionality specifically focused on improving automated system capabilities under our advanced server capability license. So we saw one piece of those with the step scheduling, and we have many more pieces on the way. Now we've seen two simple scenarios, both leaning into COTS capabilities of the Workflow Manager system, but how are these processes put together? Well, using our diagram designer for workflow administrators. Also, we've seen kind of a few jobs get created and how do we manage the work that's performed there? Well, we use our manage page for production coordinators. So let's check out how to build a process and also how to manage all the work that's created. So we're on the diagram designer page looking at the workflow of our most recent demo. It was built by dragging and dropping step types from our step library, each with its own behavior and actions. So things like defining the location, opening maps in Pro, or asking the user questions, running geoprocessing services. And we can then configure their arguments in the diagram canvas on the right. The results of steps or job information can also be used throughout the diagram with arcade expressions. And we can also configure things like the a routing of assignments on the paths. Pretty easy stuff. So if you don't know exactly how the workflow would go when you start using Workflow Manager, that's okay too. You can really just start prototyping it roughly using manual steps, question steps, and path routing, and then get your organization trialing it out within your team to fine tune it with automation later. Let's switch over to the manage page now where we can see the work that is in the system spatially as well as in a list. Here you can create work, you can see more job information, you can put work on hold, and you can actually get detailed graphic displays by clicking on your predefined filters for advanced colorization. This really is the tip of the iceberg to Workflow Manager. There is a lot to know and understand, but we wanted to keep this video short and we'll have more content coming out in the coming months. Here is, at a high level, a selection of the key features that you've seen today. Things like tracking the work's location, controlling the user access and assignment, capturing job properties, running workflows, integrating with GP tools, maps, apps, and data, just to name a few. And we have a really exciting roadmap of functionality coming out over the next few years. A couple months from now, version 10.9.1 will be released and it'll include such things as new step types for sending web requests and running data quality rules, new functionality for job scheduling, and just so much more. You'll see this in an update video in the fall, along with new demonstrations for workflow systems for incident management, as well as data submission and review. So look forward to seeing those. Okay, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Here are some additional resources. Of particular note is the new blog content we've been publishing, as well as our getting started video for working with the service-driven architecture. Thanks everyone for watching.